Hey guys, so this is take two of recording soundtracks because it turns out my microphone is not working and it was just a bubbling noise. Anyway, so I have this. Two photos I am scrapbooking is of, rather, sorry, photos of my dog Dodger. Um, these are back from August 2020 because I am still working on my 2020 album. I'm slowly getting there, um, but as you would have seen from my previous scrapbooking videos from this year, I have been tried Project Life. I like how quick we can do a project life layout, but then at the same time, it's, I find it quite restricting. Um, and I do love doing like mixed media and stuff, which is what this layout is going to be. So, as you can see, I have this. Um, it's a red paper with white triangles printed on it. I can't remember the collection or the, the brand. I've had it in my stash for a while. And then I've just got a bit of white cardstock which I've put across, not quite in the middle, it's slightly higher up from the centre. Grab my texture paste and the cloud stencil and put in a load of texture paste because I've not used texture paste in a while on a scrapbook page. I have used it in my art journal which I think is a video that is on my channel, process that's on my channel. Um, I do have a art journal process playlist if you're interested in any art journaling. So the videos in that playlist are um, in the art journal that I just put quotes in that I like. Um, I do have another much more simple art journal which is very private um, and I don't know yet if I'm ever going to. There won't ever be any process videos but there might be an odd photo here or there that I share on my craft Instagram which is linked in the description as always along with shameless plug my photography Instagram, my personal Instagram and my dog Instagram um, so they are all linked down below if you are interested um, I really appreciate it if you they checked it out checked any of them out and followed any of them um, so you saw for a second there my heat gun come in just to dry off slightly the texture paste before doing the next bit of texture paste because I was slightly overlaying the stencil um, over what I'd already done but I wasn't overly fussed um, so here using my silicon brush which I think is Cinnabar brand to remove texture paste from these places that I didn't want it. So yeah. Um, this wasn't the cheapest brush but I do like it. I don't really like it for applying texture paste but I do like it, I think that's partly just the stencils I have, but I do really like it for um, sort of bringing it off the page whilst it's still wet. Um, so then I come in with three dilution shimmer sprays. The first one is London Blue, the second one is Calypso Teal, and the third one is Polish Jade. So I'll start with London Blue and just doing the packaging technique. I think in hindsight I went a bit heavy handed with the blue, um, but it's too late now. It's on the page. <laughs> Can't do much about it. And the Calypso Teal did blend in a bit with the blue, it's not very teal coloured. Um, but I think that's partly because I did water it down slightly. Um, so yeah. And then I go in with Polish Jade shortly, just again using the same technique, packaging technique. Um, I did have to shake all of these for quite a while before using them because, again, I've not used them in a while, so all of the shimmer has settled, had settled at the bottom of the bottle. Um, so a quick fix to make it easier to shake the shimmer back into like your shimmer sprays, I find if you lie them down to like um, 
for a while, like at least half an hour before you use before you shake them, um, then it's much easier because it then goes onto the side rather than all sitting at the bottom. So as you can see, I did water down the green slightly on the second go in with it. I just felt like the layout needed it a bit more, working in a slight triangle pattern, um, because a good rule, like the only rule I really follow with scrapbooking and mixed media is the rule of threes, um, or like odd numbers. The same with like gardening, it just looks good, it's more aesthetically pleasing. Um, rather than sort of having rigid, you know, even numbers. So these are my two photos, one of my dog lying on the floor and the other one of him lying on the sofa in an odd position. So I pull out some tissue paper, some cellophane and this vellum which I have had for at least five years, probably longer. No, definitely longer, because it has moved house three times, um, somehow survived all of that, and survived being in storage as well. Um, I have no idea how it has survived that without any damage to it, but it has. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's a white glitter polka dot vellum. Um, I really like it. I've you know, as you can tell, been hoarding it for a while. Um, so I'm like, I'm trying to get through my stash and just use stuff. Um, whether I know where to use it or not. So, anyway, first layer is vellum. I'm layering both the photos the exact same way, just using my mini guillotine trimmer, which is not the best. I bought this from the range, it's like 4 99 or something. It's not quite square, um, so it doesn't, like, if you want perfectly cut square photos, do not buy it, buy a better one, um, but it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, so then I go in with cellophane, which this cellophane, I'm fairly sure, is packaging from a bar from, and it has been in my box of like tissue paper and scrap paper and like stuff which I'm meant to be using for layers for eons. It's moved house at least once, definitely. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been in my stash for a long time. So again, I'm trying to get through, use up my box of like layer material, which is like tissue paper, wrapping paper, um, and yeah, and I have started on a junk journal project of making my own junk journal and I have used some of those things in there so that will probably be a process at some point in the future not entirely sure when I need to get a couple more bits so that I can actually finish making the junk journal um, before I start doing it um, and then I go in with tissue paper bleh, tissue paper which again I think is packaging I want it, it was very shiny and I want it to reduce the shine because I already had the shine from the cellophane and add some texture so I just scrunched it up and unscrunched it several times and that added some texture made it softer made it less shiny just using my scissors to trim this up this up um, so, so it's a bit more even but it's by no means perfectly even. Um, so, yeah. And then I just decide how I want to put my photos. Um, and, oops, sorry, I'm multitasking. Um, and stick those down. I do just use double sided tape. So I am aware that they might come away from the page because of the texture paste in the future. But if they do, I'll just put in, go back and put some wet glue underneath, um, just a little bit, just so that they stick. So I do overlap them slightly um, because there's quite a lot of dead space in, especially the photo where Dodger is on the sofa. And then I come in with this 
two I've got two of these stick sheets. They came with my planner. I, what's the brand? This my planner. Uh, I've got it right next to me, so Life Organized is the planner I am using this year. These stickers came with that. I at first pulled in a little flag sticker but it had gold foiling on it and I knew I wanted to use silver um, splashes so I just went with these three geometric style hearts, one in green and two in like pink tones. Then I pull out my tin pulp. Um, tiny words book. So the first one I pull out is um, what is it? Small talk, and then I pull out chit chat. So I pull two stickers from small talk. Um, the one let's do the green heart. So bear with me. So to focus on what's important, the one next to the big pink heart, pink heart at the bottom so it's just because, and the small one that says love. And then I just add some silver flappers and call the layout done. Um, so, yeah. Yep, silver flappers. I do get a bit on a big dollop on one of the photos which I try to wipe off, which it kind of works. Um, I'm not overly fussed though, so I'm not going to bother repainting the photo. And that is it. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. All my other links are in the description and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!